Welcome to the UCCS mill instruction video. This is designed to familiarize you with the general procedures of mill operation, though many differ from machine to machine. In those cases, additional instructions will be provided in class. The first step is to install a collet, making sure the groove is in line with the notch inside the machine. Insert the tool into the collet, holding it in place while tightening the nut on top of the machine. For final tightening, apply the brake while tightening the nut with a wrench. We are concerned with movement in all three directions for the mill. They will be referred to as left and right, in and out, and up and down. To move the table left and right, we turn the handle on the right side. Using the right hand rule, we point the thumb in the direction we want the table to move. The direction the fingers curl is the direction to turn the handle. Similarly, we turn the handle in front of the table to move it in and out. The knee moves the table up and down. Though the z-axis displays the height on this machine, most are not set up this way, so it's best to use the markings on the attached scale. Each mark is a thousandth, while each complete turn is a hundred thousandth. Turning the handle clockwise raises the table, while counterclockwise lowers it. There is some looseness in the handle, so make sure the handle is on the right side of the wheel while making a final reading. Movement in the Z direction is relatively slow, so the quill is used to rapidly lower the tool. In order to use it, release the lock, then use the quill arm to plunge the tool. Lock it in place. To return to the original height, the process is reversed, making sure to lock it in place at the top of his travel. The power switch is located towards the top of the mill. The tool should be turning clockwise. If the tool is turning counterclockwise, you may notice it doesn't cut properly. In this case, turn it off, then move the switch to the opposite position. Those are the basic steps to operating a mill. Thank you for watching.